In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the GCF when you are factoring a polynomial. So today, what I want to first talk about is what are factors? Well, factors would be an integer, and an integer is a number that is either positive or negative, and or a variable, meaning a letter of your problem, that are multiplied to a product. And so factors of 12 would be two numbers that multiply to make 12. So 1 and 12, 2 and 6, and 3 and 4. These are just written out numerically. And then factors of 6 would be 1 and 6. Actually, that's a 16. Sorry, I couldn't see that 1 there, 16. Factors of 1 and 16 would be 1 and 16, 2 and 8, and 4 times 4. And so what we're looking for here with greatest common factor is the factor that both of your um, both of your factors have in common, and, the, and it's the largest one. So the largest factor that both of these have in common would be the number 4. So I'll show you another example here with 18 and 36. And now I'm not going to write mine in order, I'm just going to write them in terms of what I remember that what multiplies to be 18. 1 times 18 is 18. 2 times 9 is 18. 3 times 6 is 18, and I think those are all the numbers that multiply to make 18. Now I'm going to do the same thing and make a list for the numbers that multiply to make 36. 1 and 36, 2 and 18, 3 and 12, 4 and 9. Let me think, is there any more in there? I think that's all I can think of. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, six times six. That multiplies to make 36. So now what I want to do is compare the number that is the largest in both lists. And, and typically what we want to do is find a number larger than one. And I notice that 18 is in both of these lists. And so this would be called your greatest common factor if I abbreviate GCF. That would be 18, and that's the biggest number that goes into both 18 and 36. So I'm going to try a few more examples where we're just taking the GCF of numbers, and then I'm going to move on towards, in, an, in another video, uh, in incorporating letters. So numbers that multiply to make 12 would be 1 and 12, 2 and 6, and 3 and 4. Numbers that multiply to make 60 would be 1 and 60, 2 and 30, 3 and 20, let's see, 4 and 12, I'm confident 5 goes in there, Hold on. 4 and 15, it's not 4 and 12, 4 and 15 and 5 and 12, I think that's it. And then the biggest number that both of these have in common would be the number 12. And then let's continue on. We'll just kind of do six examples here in the first video. Uh, numbers that multiply into 14 and 49, and what's the biggest factor, the greatest common factor that they share in common? So 14 would be uh, factors of 1 and 14, 2 and 7. For 49, 1 and 49, and 7 and 7. And I don't need to list the 7 twice. I just need it once. And so 7 is the greatest common factor of those uh, those two. And actually what I'll do is I'll, I'll write this kind of in, in marker, our greatest common factor uh, larger than that. For the numbers 55 and 121, 1 and 55, I'm confident 5 goes in there. 5 goes in 11 times. For 121, 1 goes in times 121. And I think 121 is divisible by 11. Oh yeah, it is 11 times 11. So 11 would be our greatest common factor from both of our lists. And here's three more. Maybe what you want to do is pause the video and see if you can find them yourself uh, between 24 and 40. Let's see the numbers 1 and 24, uh, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 times 6. I think that's about all I can think of right now. Um, okay, 40, 1 and 40, 2 and 20, 3 won't go in, 4 will go in times 10, 5 will go in times 8, 
40 is not divisible by 6. It's not divisible by 7. I already got 8, 9. I already got 10. So I think this is as big as my list will be. And do I see a number that is in common in both? The biggest one. 24, no. 2, yep. Is there one bigger? 12, no. 8. Looks like 8 is the biggest number that both of those are divisible by. So 8 would be my GCF. And for 18, 1 and 18, 9 times 2, 3 times 6. And for 27, numbers that multiply to make 27 would be 1 and 27, and 9 times 3. And I notice that 9 is my biggest number in both of those lists. So 9 would be my greatest common factor. And then last here, 8 and 15. What multiplies to make 8? 1 times 8, 2 times 4, and mul multiplies to make 15. 1 and 15, and 5 times 3. And here, my greatest common factor, in a way, I want to say there is none. Well, there, there, is, there is one factor, and it's the factor of 1. So sometimes your greatest common factor will be just you pull out 1 from each of your factors, and sometimes that's how it is. Now, as we're going to get into letters, I just want to talk about how our, our greatest common factor will change. And so greatest common factor for coefficients will be, uh, for the coefficients, will be the greatest common factor. But what you're going to find is for letters, you're actually going to find the smallest exponent. And I want to show you that in my next video. And I'll do a few examples of how to find the variables next. But great job finding just the number terms for greatest common factor and stay tuned for another video with variables.